Hey everyone, Zev here. Welcome to Zero Caliber 2 Overview. The essential return of the co-op shooter king on the platform. It's such a specific situation because I don't think any shooter has been done that way so far. And even though the execution was a bit questionable at times, it just proves the main point that anything that's set in the co-op campaign storyline perspective will just naturally elevate itself. So Zero Caliber 2 is a direct sequel to the critically acclaimed military shooter game where once again you'll enlist as a soldier to save the world alone or with friends by your side and enroll into a full-blown cinematic experience. This is what it seems to be going for, although this trailer won't show much of that. This time around it seems like the devs are putting more emphasis on the events and visual scenarios happening around you instead of straight up throwing a bunch of waves of enemies and just deal with that. If I'm looking frame by frame, I don't think there is like a big difference in terms of the graphics between the two, which means all the sequel situation is gonna be happening on the mechanical part of things. I would probably appreciate a quest-free update along the way, unless it's already implemented, which I don't think so. But overall, it's good to see this series coming back. We've done a playthrough of the prequel before. I don't think we'll be missing that one either, unless something terrible happens. Among so many shooters on the store, it's always good to see something that's made for cooperation first and foremost. And to this day, Caliber series seems to be the perfect example of it. Let's go back to the madness. Who's that? Can't tell if a person or AI. <laughs> And he's just standing there. Cool. That's gonna be in between. So, it's a sequel. There is heavy favorite rendering. Like, pretty big one. But when you actually focus on the center, things look quite nice. I don't know why those tires are kinda in the ground. It's not like the highest resolution of textures, but it's an upgrade from the prequel, that's for sure. Clarity nice. Long time no see, old friend. Jesus. A lot has changed since you've been around, Hawk. This is a beautiful mountain you have, by the way. Care to show me around? I need to speak with you. You're not much of a speaker, but a man of action. That's what I like about you. I came from the front line, it's close. I have an hour or so to talk. No, my knife. I also walk funny. Like up and down. <laughs> A watchtower, guards natural habitat. Model is nice. He's kind of floating on the ground. So it's just attention to detail. What's the area of interaction? Yeah, you need to be on it. Ah. 
Practicing the basics even after all these years on the field? Hell yeah. No wonder you're one of the best. You know what? I will tag along. Oh wow, I can actually go down. Not many games do that nowadays. I think everything's fine. It doesn't seem like the fingers work completely, it needs to be full hand. Amulko! Where's my gun? Grab the pistol from the table. Yeah, but I would love to switch the hand cause... Okay, well I'm stuck. Load your weapon. Don't forget to pull the slide. For some reason, the magazine eject is on the right hand. That's kind of weird. Shoot the targets. I never used my left hand. How's that penetrating? There's more? You can always check your ammo count on your wrist pad and ammo belt. Eliminate the rest of the targets. Guess I'll get some practice. Oh shit. Well done. It doesn't work all the time. Grab that rifle, load it, cock it, and shoot the targets. But here we can switch? Steadying your weapon with your offhand helps you to maintain your accuracy. Switching firing modes helps you with the recoil. Switch to single fire. Good job. You despise all types of governments, but you love your country. It needs you. I need you. Join us and let's kick those goddamn Lokis out together. There is certain texture change depending on the distance. It's not a big one, but... You notice a little bit. Let's see how to manage attachments. Grab that rifle and set it up with a hollow sight. Now, upgrade your weapon fully with the remaining attachments. Your heads-up display will help you with your available attachment slots. <laughs> Jesus. 
Great. Shoot the target. Now, change the scope to cover greater distances. Grab the scope and knock the previous one off of your weapon. Ah, I need to look at it. Why it's such a struggle? Yeah, it must be damp or something, like... Oh god! Pull while holding grip button. It doesn't work in any direction, the hell? Alright, this seems more familiar. Special operations are mods on lunch, which is nice. Classically we have loadouts. I would like to switch to my stuff that I unlock. Depending on the rank again, but I just need a laser sight. But I don't think I have unlocked. <laughs> Squats, cop, everything's pretty clear. There will be also mod campaigns, which is interesting. But let's start classically. How is this? Well, I can't progress. Then I'll try some quick cop. I mean, I don't really have a choice. But I need to unlock levels. Okay, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> well, that's kind of a shame, but I guess I saw a lot of stuff already with the mechanics. Also the ultimate test of the shooter experience. There we go. <laughs> I really don't know what went wrong, but anyways, the overall zero caliber experience was definitely upgraded. If it's with the textures, clarity, gameplay felt right. Like this series at this point is known about that. So the handling seemed cool, shooting, attachments, I got stuck, I don't know what happened quite literally maybe someone can clarify if i'm an idiot or not but i do like what's going on foveate is writing situation is kinda heavy anything that's outside of your little square is very blurry and not very pleasant to look at if you focus on the center this is pretty cool i think we'll be just doing the campaign on it classically. Once I figure out how to pass the tutorial, because that's a first for me. 